Hello, this is Stephen Pugh of the Home Bible College. Um, it's May the 12th and we're in the first chapter in Acts. And this is my password for today. It's taken from the very beginning of the passage. It's quite exciting to be starting a new book of the Bible. Um, Luke is writing and he says, The former treatise have I made, O Theophilus, of all that Jesus began to do, both to do and teach until the day in which he was taken up, after that, that he through the Holy Ghost had given commandment unto the apostles whom he had chosen. And uh, right at the very beginning of this book, this, this is what you could call uh, Luke part two, it's Acts of the Apostles, and he's going to describe the life and the ministry of the apostles as they take up the mantle of the Lord Jesus and they carry on the work that he began during his lifetime. Um, and Theophilus must have been probably a friend of Luke. And he writes to him to tell him all that Jesus began to do and teach. Um, and so the, the ministry of the apostles was still going to be focused mainly on Israel. But it was going to be a, a new beginning. The church was going to be founded on the day of Pentecost and then there would come into life a totally new experience of God, which we call the Church of God or the Body of Christ. This is a, a completely new thing. It's the it's people come into it not by birth or through any of the covenants of old. They come into it by a new living faith in the Lord Jesus. And that faith is based upon the fact that they believe that Christ died for their sins and rose again and he's going to be coming again. And this is a new thing. This isn't anything to do with Old Testament whatsoever. It's a brand new thing that the Lord will do on the day of Pentecost and uh, right through this church era, which for so far has lasted 2000 years or so, um, God is gathering together individuals from every nation and putting them into one body. It's not Israel anymore. This is one body, the body of Christ, the church of God. And so that's the exciting thing that Luke is describing in Acts chapter 1. And I'm looking forward to studying with you and going through the rest of this book over the next few weeks. So God bless you and look forward to talking to you all very soon. Bye for now. Bye.